Jags, it feels like they're playing better, but came up short against the Green Bay Packers last week. The Eagles, uh, surprising, not surprising necessarily that they won against the Bengals, but winning by 20. Right. Uh, I don't know how many people saw that one coming. If you did, kudos to you. So Jags now traveling to Philadelphia for this one. Matchup that matters here, Carmen. What you got? Devontae Smith, AJ Brown against the Jaguars secondary um, and their, and those corners. Um, I just now you see again, this is this is the research. This is the reason for the resurgence for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's the only reason that there are, you know, good vibes, because when these guys were hurt, this offense wasn't productive, even with Saquon Barkley going off. Um, and that's, again, spelled AWF. So this is, you know, A.J. Brown versus single coverage, too, is just a beautiful thing to watch. It's first among wide receivers is 97.3 PFF grade. Um, and that's what you're going to try to exploit. It's what you're going to try to get. And that's what happens when both of these receivers are on the field is that it's really hard to double one or both. Um, and then you look at the other side of things with the Jaguars cornerbacks. You've got Ronald Darby, Monteric Brown. Uh, 26.8 coverage grade over the last three weeks for Monteric Brown in single coverage. So that, again, just seems like an, a, a matchup that you can very easily exploit. Tyson Campbell, 81.3 grade. He's kind of the bright spot on this for the Jags. But uh, I just I think that this offense now is firing on all cylinders in Philadelphia. And that's what you're seeing as far as, you know, the, the vibes improving and them rolling over a team like the Bengals. Um this is an opportunity for them to do that again against another AFC opponent that, to your point, has looked like they're playing a little bit better, but it hasn't translated to the win column. Yeah, that's my plus. AJ Brown has to be the plus factor in this game because, you know, when I look at this matchup here, it's an identity for both offenses that are very similar. They both want to run the ball very well. And to me, like that's a matchup that matters. Whoever runs the ball better, because both of these teams are at their best when they are running the ball well. Jalen Hurts and, and Saquon Barkley or, you know, Tank Bigsby. And it looks like uh, Trevor or Tra- Travis Etienne. I get him confused now with Trevor Etienne playing well for Georgia. So it's mm-hmm. now I'm getting confused here. Uh, it's going to be even more of a nightmare when they are both in the when NFL. Both in the league, yeah. uh, <laughs> and I have to actually uh, make sure they pay attention more. So, it looks like Travis Etienne is going to be back from the hamstring injury. Yeah. Both of these teams, for as much as we like to talk about the shot plays, the Brian Thomas Jr. who I know he's going through injury as well. You know, Christian Kirk's not in this game, but it's talk about the big shot plays for both of these teams. It comes from running the football. So whoever runs the football better is going to win this football game. I, 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 I think that 100%. I really do. The plus factor is AJ Brown because with the Eagles being a run the ball and then shot play kind of a team, There is nobody better in the NFL, nobody, not one single receiver, in my opinion, that is better at living and dying by the shot play than A.J. Brown is. I mean, when the Eagles are just back against the wall and they go, A.J., please save us with this 40-yard bomb, he goes, all right, fine. Got it. And and they'll do it, and then, then, you know, a couple of quarters later, they will go, nothing is working, A.J., please save us. And he goes, all right, fine, got it, it. cool. Next week, they'll do the same thing. They need a – because without that – we saw kind of the Eagles offense really struggle. Right. And the Jags have that player in Brian Thomas Jr., but he's a little banged up. And, and you know, what's it going to be like when he's kind of the only option with Christian Kirk not there? It kind of looks like he's going to be one of those only options to be able to go deep down the field. So that's sort of a, a storyline that we want to pay attention to. But to me, the matchup that matters, whoever runs the football more, the X factor is A.J. Brown. Because when it comes to very similar identities, ain't nobody better in the NFL at executing that sort of a passing attack and that sort of a passing game plan than AJ, who has a 97.3 PFF grade win in single coverage. Pretty crazy. But your plus factor here. What do you yeah, got? we kind of we kind of flip-flop because in the way that I talked about just kind of the passing attack in Philadelphia in general, and you talked about the rushing game in general, now I'm going to go to Tank Bigsby uh, when it comes to the Jaguars plus factor because the top three receivers for the Jags are injured. You said Christian Kirk is on IR. Last I saw, BTJ isn't going to be in this game. So then that leaves Gabe Davis. He was, he was he was pretty banged up. I, there was may, maybe you saw something more recently than me. They're, they've been very ambiguous about this. It's like, oh, he's yes. going to miss some time, and he's like, nah, he's day to day. He's not bad. So I don't, I'm not. If they don't have Brian Thomas Jr., that's even more of a you better run the football well in this one. 
Yeah. Um, and then you also have Gabe Davis fighting through an injury as day to day. So there's really no choice for this Jaguars offense but to run the football. And I think Tank Bigsby, even if you get Travis Etienne back, uh, you're going to want to kind of run him a little bit more than the guy that's coming back from injury. And and what that workload is going to look like, I think, is really still going to fall on Tank Bigsby's shoulders. So how effective can he be behind, again, this Jaguars offensive line? And and how is that going to work when you really when Philadelphia is going to kind of be able to key in on this Philadelphia, who has a phenomenal defensive front too, when they can key in on the fact that you're going to want to run the ball, given that you don't have a ton of receiving options at this point, what's going to happen? I think between Tank Bigsby and Evan Ingram, these are going to be really, really big um, contributors to what Jacksonville is going to have to rely on against this Philadelphia Eagles team. But you're right. I mean, I just I don't I don't necessarily see a pass for the Jags taking this one or being able to keep pace with the Philadelphia Eagles now who are firing on all cylinders offensively. Dougie P returned to Philly as well. So obviously yeah, a little yeah. bit emotional here. Is he going to have some sort of a trick play up his sleeve to really try to best his old team? I don't know. We'll see.